Alright, the box is in, looks good. Just the way I pictured it. Got the plexiglass ready to go in. Most people are probably wondering how I'm going to mount the plexiglass into the box. And I'm not going to use cheat rock screws. I'm going to use some bolts with threaded insert. Plexiglass done. Now it's time to do the logo. I think this will work. And this is what I use right here. It's like a frosty vinyl material. I'll cut that logo in reverse. It's hard to see on the camera, but I'll cut that logo in reverse. Stick it to the inside of the glass. It'll pick up light just like it was engraved or etched. You wouldn't even know the difference. Most people don't. So let's go ahead and slap this on the machine, cut it out. That looks pretty good. I think that'll work. And that battle continues for Lowry. Tanaka today, who came into the game averaging more than 10 strikeouts per game, has barely been able to either take it or get enough of it to stay alive in the at-bat. Lowry, three hits in the series and nine at-bats. Foul back. Lowry hanging in there against the Japanese right-hander for New York, with Tanaka. 6'2", 205 pounds, he's 25 years of age. Just need to turn that orange, a little trim, and should be looking mighty fine. Today's mission is to get the LEDs in the plexiglass in the back. Planning on turning this orange. Got a two foot LED strip from Oznium.com. It's basically RGB, red, green, and blue. Take it over with a controller like this. They got much better controllers, but for what I'm doing, which is only orange, this is all I need. But as you can see, red, green, and blue are turned all the way down. I turn the red up, we got red. Green, we got green. Blue, we got blue. But when I start mixing them, start getting the color that I'm looking for. So this should light that Razor logo up real nice. Matter of fact, let's test it out and see. So as you can see, that thing lights up really well. I'm planning on keeping it orange, but of course, if I really want to. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut a groove in the bottom of this. So these things will sit up in their flush. You won't even notice that they're there, but they'll just do their job. So let's do that right now.
Now this step here should have been done before I pulled the paper off. But I got a little bit ahead of myself. Try not to get a little bit ahead of yourself when it comes to plexiglass because anything that touches that is going to scratch. And if it does, it's going to light up. So that's the one drawback to lighting up these plexiglass windows with LEDs is that if you get a scratch, the scratch lights up as well. So if you're going to do this little channel that I'm gouging in the bottom right now, if you're going to do that, make sure you do it before you take the paper off. I got tape on there. It's good, but I should have done it beforehand. So that groove is cut, and I taped off the outside edges so I can paint a black border. That'll happen on the inside edge so you don't see any of the weather stripping that was shown through before. And then of course, I'll put that light strip right up in to that groove, glue it in place. Doesn't really matter what you use, it could be 99 cent can. Just need to make a black border from the inside. From the outside, you can't even tell. Right, here we go. Also got these, some little grab handles. Those will go somewhere in there. And I'm thinking that the outside ends are going to end up being orange. The middle piece will be black since it'll end up taking some damage. I don't want to do anything crazy to it. So we'll break these apart, shoot those to match, mount them on top. That'll give me something to lift the box up into the air, in and out, into the back of that thing. Jay back there in the booth, spraying up some stuff for me. There's a couple of colors that I can't really do myself, but even the basic blacks. I could do some of this stuff in the shop by myself, but Jay always volunteers to handle it for me. Gets it done, gets it done fast, and uh, we got a state-of-the-art paint booth here, so why spray paint up against a piece of cardboard when I can have it done right next door? Yeah. Right on. All right, I got this thing all touched up. It's about ready to go back in. Handles are done. Those are gonna go right here. That'll give us something to grab on whenever we're putting the box in and taking it out, since it was designed to go in and out very easily. Looks pretty good. The box is done. Sounds pretty good. Looks pretty good. Now it's time to move forward over to the iPad Mini, the side slider kit by Soundman. And then uh, after that, it should be pretty close to being done. Let's check out how the box came out.
no strain on his body, on his arm. He, he's just it's like a real quiet motion and just man. Like Dodo, a Coco, a show that. To that girl, and then tell you that's a boy, he's a blur.